You know, the movie theater industry has been the major topic of conversation within our little movie sphere for the past little while. I mean, obviously, the, the coronavirus itself is the story, but within our little movie sphere, the story as a repercussion is that's been what's been going on with the movie theaters. The movie theaters were looking at reopening on the end of July. They have now bumped that. Now, AMC came out the other day and said they are now re-aiming for their relaunch in the middle of August. And now Regal Cinemas has also come out and said that they are going to aim to have their theaters open for mid-August. Now, I expect that Cinemark will probably follow suit, although I think some Cinemarks have been opening around the country where they can anyway, whereas like Regal and AMC seem to be taking a will launch when we can launch rather than just the odd theater here and there. So they're going to come out mid-August as well. Now, of course, they've been boistered by the fact that Warner Brothers has just said they're going to release Tenant worldwide in 70 different countries in at the end of August, but they are going to aim to have it in select cities in the United States on September 3rd and September 4th. So that's buoyed them. And as a matter of fact, when you go to Comscore, there is still a release schedule right now for the next number of weeks. As we go down that release schedule, as of right now, still unhinged, is still technically scheduled to open up in North America on August 21st. And if Regal and AMC can have a bunch of their theater open, theaters open by that point, and that's a big if. Also on August 21st is Inception. Warner Brothers announced a while ago they're going to release Inception or re-release Inception to kind of build up to uh, Tenant. On August 28th, of course, we've got the New Mutants. Disney just reaffirmed at Comic-Con at home that they're going to open New Mutants on August 28th. We'll see how many theaters are going to be open for that. Uh, Fatima is coming. Uh, the Personal History of David Copperfield, which is something Disney's been very big on. On September 1st, this one you got to have a big asterisk beside. On September 1st, we got Bill and Ted Face the Music. Obviously, that's not going to play in any Regal Cinema, in any AMC Cinema, in any of the major cinemas, because, of course, that's also a VOD release. It's a day-and-date VOD release, and most of the major theater chains have a rule against letting movies come into their theaters that are also releasing on streaming on the same day. So don't expect to see Bill and Ted in most of the movie theaters, but I'm sure there are going to be some select uh, independent theaters that will. September 3rd, of course, we've got Tenant, which was just announced uh, on September uh, 18th. The King's Man is still slated to come out. Kajillionaire, that's with Evan Rachel Wood, is slated, slated to come out. And then we get into September 25th. We got that Gerard Butler film, Greenland. So there are still films. There are still movies here on these release dates right now. Uh, Rob, you take a look at that. We see, maybe we can use the word momentum. We've got AMC saying they're going to open mid-August. Regal has now come out and said they're opening mid-August. Obviously buoyed up by the fact that Warner Brothers is saying they're going to try to put out Tenant where they can in September 3rd. Uh, what is your interpretation of this? How do you see this? And, and is it possible? Are we in a position right now that... Yeah, we are going to get these theaters open and we're going to see where they can because I think there's going to be some places in the U.S. that are probably still going to restrict theaters from being allowed to open, but there are going to be other places that can. I, I, I don't know. Does it look like we're going to get Tenet September 3rd in a bunch of places and New Mutants on the 28th? How do you interpret all this? Well, you know, I mean, I keep reading whether it's drive-ins only. I mean, the people got to get their movies out. Movie theaters got to open. And I'll tell you, there are some places in the country that has been able to sort of get this this uh, virus as under control as it's been. Obviously, unfortunately, Los, uh, Los Angeles County and California are not one of those places. So I think it's time to get the car tuned up for those crossing state lines journeys to movie theaters. But I, I – look, I want to see – Movie theaters reopen, I do, but every time, like, I, I just keep thinking, my God, I mean, Major League Baseball, they're trying to start their season, but then, oh, nope, a game is canceled because there's 15 COVID cases amongst one team, you know, and, and this virus is still out there running rampant, and when we put people together, groups of people, it just doesn't seem like the best idea now. And I guess we're going to have to, you know, we're going to actually have to wait and see. I mean, I, I think they're going to do it, John. I don't, I don't know if Tenet will stay on its date, but I think it, I think they're going to do it. And um, I, I think the movie theaters are going to open, but we're going to have to see. Does that mean that the spread of COVID will be, be not a factor? 
or two weeks after these theaters are open and showing movies, they're going to find out that there's clusters of infections. We'll see just how good they are. I hope for everyone's sake, look, I'd love nothing better than to go back to movie theaters. Really? Right. Now, you, but, you know, my you know, my take on this, like I I am still personally of the belief and I am no medical doctor. <laughs> let's 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 be clear about that. I am still personally of the belief that done right and responsibly, I believe we can go back into movie theaters mm -hmm. and I do believe we can just like we go into restaurants, just like we go into grocery stores. Um, I think if done right, if you have the right safety precautions put in place, you have the right policies in place. If you do all that and you do the right social distancing, uh, obviously, again, this has kind of been my mantra. I understand you cannot eliminate the risk, but you can minimize it. You, you can limit the risk. And I think there is a way if movie theaters do what they say they're going to do, if they are monitored, if they are held accountable for making sure they follow the right policies and the right procedures, I believe you can do it. I, I believe that people are required to have their masks on whenever they're moving about a movie theater. I think if you have them socially distant apart, while uh, while it, while in the uh, their seating area, if you stagger show times, have thirty percent limited seating, all that kind of stuff, I think you can do it and do it relatively safely. The question will be: Will people? And we are all inherently stupid. Will people adhere to those policy and guidelines, or? Will we see, as we've seen in other areas, a bunch of select few morons ruin it for everybody? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I I still don't know how many theaters we're going to see New Mutants open up in. I, I'm not really sure. But I do believe they're going to open it. I just don't know in how many theaters. I'm like you, Rob. I also believe that they're going to open Tenet. I don't know how many theaters are going to open in Tenet on September 3rd. It might be... 1500 theaters it literally might be 15 right but i believe they're going to open it where they can because i because i got a feeling they're just feeling like they need to get the ball rolling but again as you and i have been saying this whole time this is a a situation that is evolving and changing every day so i mean something some new stat or fact or figure could come out tomorrow that massively sways things one way or the other it's hard to say this far out but but right now, that seems to be their plan. The question for you guys is, what do you think about this? Regal is now joining AMC, saying they're going to reopen their theaters in mid-August in time for a couple of these uh, movies that we just listed off. Do you think they're going to be able to make it? Jump down into the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.